My name is uh, Shane Bergen and I work uh, here in Trinity College at the School of Physics. I think that it's, it's crucial that the, the average man or woman on the street understands what we here in, in the universities do. It's not just good enough that we write articles in the Irish Times every Thursday about science because typically only scientists read them. What I study are nano, um, nano objects, specifically the carbon nanotube. It's a um, tiny, tiny molecule um, that has incredible uh, properties. A carbon nanotube um, is a molecule made entirely of carbon. It's, it can be imagined like a hollow cylinder. This is a shortened nanotube, and each of these corners here can be imagined as a carbon atom. And, um, to, if you were to imagine to hold your hands out like this, okay, that's about two meters. And if you were to shrink that distance by about a billion, which is a massive um, multiple, then you'd be down at the diameter of this tube here. Okay, so if they were to become airborne for any reason, which typically we'd like to avoid, um, they, the airborne particles could become uh, lodged in your lungs and could act in an asbestos-like way. But there are people who would test to see are there any health implications of, of nanotechnology all the time. My dream result, I suppose, in the next couple of months would be not only to separate all of these nanotubes out into individual tubes, but would be to separate them and then to separate each of the individual flavours within that group. When you buy the tub of nanotubes or the tub of ice cream, you get all the flavours mixed together. So what I'd love to do is pick a solvent that could pull out that specific flavour of carbon nanotube so that it could be used for any application that, you know, the engineers might see uh, possible. But that's, that's a dream, like if, if this could be realised, that would be one of the major obstacles of carbon nanotubes just overcome. Nanotubes, when they're grown, they grow together in these bundles. And when they're in these bundles, their uh, amazing properties disappear. Um, so we want to pull apart these bundles. And that's what my project is all about, debundling the carbon nanotubes. I primarily make little black solutions such as this, which contain debundled carbon nanotubes. This box here generates a very broad range of light, okay? It sends its white light, which you can see here, in through here, we have a mirror, and then we have a device known as a diffraction grating. Depending on the angle at which this light hits this, it will pick out a particular color. See, it's white here, and over here now, it's turned blue. And if I turn that, it'll give you any color you want <laughs> within limits. This contains a solution of carbon nanotubes. If I've been successful in debundling the nanotubes there, whilst we can't see them with the eye, there will be some glowing carbon nanotubes in that as a result of the exciting light that comes through here. I am, I am a keen musician. Um, actually, there's quite a lot of physicists that are, would be quite musical. It's, it seems that the brain is wired that way. Um, and also, I like to get out and walk mountains. I love to travel, and I suppose that's something you can do with the job. I ideally would love to become um, somebody that could teach and research at the same time. But um, that's kind of a, uh, what would you say, a dream almost. Getting a job is, is, is very, very difficult, especially if you want to stay in Ireland. So, um, like getting a permanent job is the problem. So there's plenty of money being, being, being put into research in Ireland. I think it's, it's more so about um, what do you, how, how does a person um, progress in science? Are you happy for people to have contracts of a one year duration and for them to have no security in their job? Um, it's more about sort of setting up jobs or positions that people can say, this is what I do, and they can, they can stick at it for a few years. Um, I suppose a little bit geared towards the scientists rather than the science.